Our next report comes from China, where over 80 million people have a disability. That's more than 6% of the total population. The Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe was established in 1987. Starting off as an amateur dance troupe, it has gone on to claim commercial success both at home and abroad. Off stage, silent synchronicity. On stage, disability leads to discovery. I feel that dance is something I can see. It's a language that lets me express my inner world. I have lost my hearing, but I have a very healthy body. I can use my body to express every word I want to say from deep within my heart through dance. Tai Li Hua is the lead dancer of the China Disabled People's Performing Arts Troupe, as well as its artistic director. The troops are a very good platform for disabled people who have a passion for a career in special performance. Here, they have an equal opportunity to participate in any art form that they're interested in and to experience the beauty of their disability using a special form of art to express human love. The group has moved audiences in more than 50 countries. It includes some 100 performers, the youngest of whom is 10-year-old Wang Yi Mei. Like the majority of the ensemble, she is hearing impaired, but makes up for her disability with a deep dedication to dancing. Since she came here, she is always in a state of euphoria. She has experienced things she never saw back home. So she is always in a state of excitement. The troupe was born more than 20 years ago, with a mission to provide young disabled Chinese a vehicle to develop new talents. But in 2002, it abandoned its amateur status and turned professional. While the group's members admit a history of discrimination continues to haunt many of China's 80 million people with disabilities, they say their tightly knit community has given them a renewed sense of pride and purpose. The people in our troop come from all over China, but we are like a big family. We help each other. When I go for my meals, the deaf-mute children will help me get my food. When we go out, we have blind people who cannot see at all. I can see, so I help them. They will put their hands over my shoulder and I will take them out to buy things to eat and so on. Huang Yangguang lost both of his arms to electric shock when he was five years old. After I lost both arms, I trained myself to use both feet to do things, such as brushing my teeth, washing my face, writing and drawing. When I joined the China Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe, dancing was a big challenge for me. I had never danced before and had never been in contact with music. It was difficult for me to learn the steps in dancing and to cope with the tempo of the music. The latest challenge facing the troupe has nothing to do with learning to dance, but on figuring out what to do with its first ever guide dog, Yo-Yo. Flutist Mao Di had his first lesson with Yo-Yo on the streets of Beijing. When we were performing overseas, we came across guide dogs, and we were very envious. When we found out that China has guide dogs, we were excited. But having a guide dog in China is still something very new. It might not be readily accepted by the people on the outside. The assessment today is to find out if we are qualified to lead a guide dog. This includes family environment, living conditions, how we move around. As to which one of us will own this dog, we still don't know. It's fate. The owner wants to pick the dog, but the dog also gets to pick its owner. With the release of a film about the disabled troupe, along with high-profile performances during the Beijing Olympics, worldwide interest in the group seems poised to surge. But members say despite their growing fame, they do not consider themselves superstars. 
They are not angels. They are just like ordinary kids. The same as any other kids. They like to play, they like to bicker amongst themselves, but they all live together like one big family. That's because they have a very positive heart to face whatever is coming along.